Welcome back to more Metroid Prime, everyone. We're here in the Gravity Chamber, and of course, we're gonna get this little power-up right here, and it is going to be... Come on, jump up there. Come on, Samus! There we go. And that is going to be the Gravity Suit, everyone! Of course, uh, being first featured in Super Metroid, I believe. Chronologically, Samus had it in Zero Mission there. But, uh, now we have the Gravity Suit, and we're all purple and cool and all that stuff. But even better, ah, no more, uh, hindrance underwater as far as mobility is concerned. Ah, always happy to get that. Alright, so now we're gonna get out of here. I don't want to spend any more time in here. So yeah, the Gravity Suit allows us to move through water freely, so we're not hindered by anything anymore. And, um, it also provides a flat reduction to damage that we'll take, uh, as far as just normal energy damage is concerned, so... Everybody wins! Well, well, at least Samus does, I guess, the Spice Pirates don't. Can you get up there, please? Thank you. Come on, stay up there, stay up there. There we go. So now we can go back to the freaking Crash site and, uh, have some fun there. Uh, which is where I'm gonna be heading back to next. So, uh, again, a lot of backtrack here. We're gonna be going out uh, the way we did not come in, so we can see some new stuff. Oh yeah, that's one of those security drones. Yeah, remember that. Remember super missiles in this one. Take these dudes out. Oh crap, it saw me! Boom! Now nearly as stressful to take out when it is not dark around, so. I don't know why, what is causing all this static? Is there another one in here? I think there is a- is there another one in here? I don't know what that was. Okay. I get the feeling that there might be something else in this room besides just a security drone. I guess not. Yeah, it is just a little connected pathway, I suppose. Alright, so we're back in the Frost Cavern here. It was called the Hunter Cave. The Frost Cave is back here. Alright, so... I guess we'll continue to go out by going through the right. Ah, crap. Pirates. Actually, I think I shouldn't even be using the wave beam anymore. Maybe just use the ice beam. If I can hit them, yeah, I can do that. So yeah, that's an option if you really want to, but like I said before, I don't think I've showed that off before. But like I said, um, I think whatever the enemy is super mobile right there, the wave beam is going to be better, because um, those flying pirates can easily dodge and your ice beam shots, because they're very slow and not rapid at all. So wave beam is the way to go. In fact, uh, like I said, I kind of like the wave beam in the vast majority of situations. Yeah, and this is just going to take us back to the frozen pike here. Alright, is there going to be anything in the Hunter Cave access? I think so. Alright, so just a little bit of a charged waving shot is enough to take these dudes out. No, oh, aw crap. Kind of missed. No, no, ah, no. Come on, 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 come on. Hit me! Hit me! Okay, there we go. And there's going to be one more. Oh! I guess it's, it's a shell, so. A bit more protective of that core than I thought. It's a bit more difficult to hit it there. Um, where am I going? Yeah, turn around. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you'd think there would be something in there, but maybe not. I just don't really like being in water. We're gonna have to backtrack here with way to get a Chozo artifact once we have the wave beam, I believe, so. Yeah. Okay, I already took you out before, so. This is pretty much just some more straight backtracking to where we were up again with, so. I, in fact, I have to go all the way back to the crash for you now. And since I just showed you guys. All of this backtracking. I mean, we're pretty much just gonna be going. Um, let's see where are we to the yeah to, to the Magmore Caverns and back to the Talon Overworld and all that really good stuff. Um, what I think I'll do, you know what? I'll climb this tower right quick just to show you guys how you can climb it, I suppose. Uh, then when we get back to the elevator, I'm just gonna cut back to the uh, friggin' crash site. There's that is indeed where we're going to be going next. Okay, so how do I get up here? Well, we know that we can take it uh, this way to get back up to the vent tour. So I can only assume this will lead to more of a way to climb this little cavern right here. Yep, got another opening. I was about to say, it looked like a bit of a long jump, but there's another ledge right there we can use. And yeah, it looks like some pretty straight trekking, actually. Back up here, and this will take us to the original door. Sweet. 
Actually, that'll take us back to the research core, which is where I do not want to go. I want to go... Yep, further up. Looks like there's more ledges this way. I guess you could go through the research center if you wanted to. Ugh. A lot of wasted time, if you ask me. A lot of combat you'd have to do in there, too, and everything's all dark and uh, altogether just not pleasant at all. Yep, that's gonna be our door. And right through here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to keep this, uh, we're gonna have to come back here whenever we have a means to melt this ice as well. I don't think I can do anything with the super missiles or anything like that, so we'll be back. And just a one trip through here, and yep, this is my elevator. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cut right here, and I'm going to meet you guys back when we get to, where is it? The Talon Overworld here, and the Frigate Crash site, which is right here. So where we were at the start of, uh, or well, at the ending of two episodes ago, uh, ago I guess. So, alright, I'll do a quick cut, and I'll see you guys then. Alright, hey there guys, um, I'm here at the elevator that will lead back to the Talon Overworld West, which is what we could use in order to get to the frigate crash site, in order, because, you know, it's in the Talon Overworld. But then I was thinking, you know, we do have the gravity suit now, along with super missiles and all that really good stuff, so I was starting to remember that there's quite a few things we can do now that we have that, in addition to having the spider ball. Um, namely, we can get a lot of Chozo artifacts along the way. I believe we can actually get three right now since we have the super missiles, the spider ball, and the gravity suit there. So instead of using this elevator right here to go right back up to the Talon Overworld, we're actually going to be going through here in order to access the Chozo Ruins because there are, I believe, three artifacts on the way there. And um, the less scrounging around and excessive backtracking you have to do in order to get all those artifacts, uh, the better, quite honestly. So that's what we're going to do. So for right now, it's just going to be some more straight trekking through the Magmore Caverns here in an area that we've pretty much already see. But that's going to be pretty cool. I remember there is one Chozo artifact here in the uh, Magmore Caverns that we can get now. We need a super missile in order to get it. So you guys be on the lookout for uh, Pillar, I believe. It is a pillar we can only bust open with the super missiles there. And it is like uh, in one of these caverns somewhere, so... Uh, guess whenever I see it, I'll just go ahead and bust that thing open. Yeah, I was thinking, you know what? That's what I've done in this playthrough so far. Whenever I get, like, a power-up or something, normally I show you guys the backtracking in case... Crap, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. I gotta turn around somehow. Okay. This way. Alright, forget the more ball. We're just gonna go straight down. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot that was a way to get back to the beginning. My bad. But yeah, and then I started thinking, okay, I've gotten a lot of power-ups here recently, and I haven't done too much backtracking to show for it necessarily. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, again, can't do anything, can't do much of anything right here until we have our next power up there. Um, the same thing we need in order to break open the big Deezium there, so. Oh boy, more jetpack pirates. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry with you guys right now. I got places to be. Let's go. There we go. All right, sweet. I haven't seen any pillars yet. In fact, I think the pillar I'm looking for is fairly early on in the back of the caverns. At least where in relation to where we first, uh, entered the Magma Caverns. Boy, these Chipmunk Pirates are everywhere now. Screw you guys. I guess you guys are a little antsy now, because you know I'm here, and I cannot ruin your entire research facility there in Fidrana Drifts, but holy crap. I guess those are, like, the main reconnaissance guys, so... Oh, and fun fact, I think since we have the space jump now, we can just boop, go right over. Ha <laughs> ha. No more having to go into Morph Ball form for that or anything. Alright, is this what I'm looking for? Really scan it. I'm gonna shoot it just to make sure. Go jump right here. Boom! Nothing. One second, guys. Okay, yeah. Trying to drink a lot of water to stop all the hacking and such. I just know I, uh, that um, you guys don't want to hear that, so. <laughs> not gonna do it on camera. Okay, so I guess that is not the pillar I'm looking for. I think the pillar I'm looking for is actually the top to bottom one that just seems to be sticking out. Let's go through here. Maybe in this room is what I'm looking for. Yeah, actually, I think this is it right here. Right, let's try the super missile again. Can I scan this thing? I nope, still can't scan it. I think this is what I'm looking for. Oh! Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Another Chozo. Artifact acquired. This is the Artifact of Nature, the 8th of 12. 
I think you're only supposed to know that one's right there because of a uh, hint that the Shizu gave you back in the Talon Overworld there. Um, you wouldn't really know because you can't scan that thing, unfortunately, which I think is kind of a flaw in the design, to be quite honest. I think you should be able to scan anything of interest. But, you know, the Chizu artifacts are kind of... I'm not going to say they're a controversial thing in this game. Yeah, but I'll use the ice beam. How do you like this? How do you like that? Yeah, eat it! Eat it! Haha. <laughs> one ice beam shot, and then one uh, missile. That takes care of him. Took a lot of hits before, so that's important. But, um, I don't really think it's a point of contention among whether or not Metro Prime is, like, an amazing game, because everyone agrees that Metro Prime is an amazing game for the most part. Um, but the Chozo Artifacts, I don't know, it is kind of a fetch quest, right? You do get the feeling that they might just be here to artificially lengthen gameplay time. I don't know if it really feels like that in this game specifically, or in the context of when you may have played this game for the first time. Because, again, everything's really fresh and new. Metro Prime is a very action heavy game. You're kind of encouraged to go at your own pace and explore everything. You can sequence break, stuff like that. So I think with that context in mind, it is not too bad, uh, the Chozo Artifact Hunt. Although all the Prime games would do something to this effect from here on out. Um, ah, crap. Um, Prime 2 Echoes has the Temple of Light Keys, I want to call it. I think that's what it's called, the Temple of Light Keys. And Prime 3 Corruption has the Energy Cells. They're all MacGuffins that you pretty much have to collect for the in-game. Um, except in Prime 3 Corruption, you don't have to collect them all. Some of them are just bonuses for extra stuff. Which is good. Um, I think that's probably the way to go, quite honestly, to where you're not kind of running around like a chicken with its head cut off by the in-game, because you don't know where to go. Alright, this should take us back up to the Talon Overworld. We have one of the artifacts. There's two more I want to nab before we head back to the friggin' Orpheon. Yeah, I think it's much better to do this now rather than wait until endgame. I mean, granted, I'm probably going to be going through all these areas again to get all the expansions and such, but okay, we're finally going to do something that we saw towards the very beginning of the game. Let's go to the Sun Tower here. I came here in, like, episode 2 or 3, I think it was, but of course we couldn't do anything because of the spider ball tracks and guy lost me. Please leave me alone. You're crying out loud, you're such an old enemy. Wait, I have to scan MacGuffins? I guess I do. Alright. Wasp, prepare to meet your maker. You're going to blow up your nest and genocide your entire species. Can you genocide a species? I guess that's exterminate a species. If you like it. Hey, Samus is gonna exterminate species in the future, so it's not like these wasps are gonna be special. Alright. So now we have to scan all these things. I believe some of them are actually hidden behind these wasps' nests now that I think about it. Which is disgusting. Nope, none of us here. Alright, I think we gotta blow up these things, which are. Cordite. Yeah, we need super missiles to get uh, the Cordite walls. Let's go ahead and blow this thing off. Kaboom! There we go, that's one symbol. I think this is going to be symbol number two. Oh, I don't really know where the uh, other two symbols would be. Actually, I think they're on these pillars right here. That memory uh, serves correctly. Oh, I don't see any more. Well, let's go ahead and get these two, I suppose. Ruinic symbol activated. Oh, I was about to say, is that like another thing I could actually scan for the logbook? But no, alright. Alright, this is number two. Is there a way to further destroy those wasps in this Oh, come on. I know this thing's gotta be... Uh, this is like my least favorite part of the game. For, like, scanning for these things. Alright, yeah, I know that. Can I blow these things up more? Doesn't look like it. Are they on these pillars and I'm just missing them? No. Oh, wait, I think there's one back here. Yeah, here, here they are. I think they're both back here. It's gonna be one right here, and I would hazard a guess that it's back here as well. No? Maybe back here. Yep, here it is. I don't know why you would have that instead of just, I don't know, progressing. I guess they want you to have super missiles in order to get back here. Which is fair enough, you know, super missiles really help for the enemies we're about to have to fight up here. Alright, further up here. I think we're gonna have some platforming bits right here. Yeah, these guys. I don't know if I've scanned these guys before. Can I go out of Morph Ball Bob and scan these guys? This looks like it. Regardless, looks like they're super electric charged, so we'll have to be careful. Oh, I could just use the jump ball for this, couldn't I? Yeah, we're gonna have to use the bombs, really. Come on, get up there! There we go. Alright, can I look down and scan these guys? Because I really get a feeling that I've never scanned these guys before. No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know if I could use that as a ledge, but I'm not about to try since I 
Use all that time to get back up here. Holy crap, what was that? That was a Chozo Ghost. You guys remember seeing those before. Sorry, it's not quite ominous. So yeah, and in a very interesting twist, I guess, there was a Chozo artifact back where we fought Flagra. I don't know why it didn't make itself known where we fought Flagra, but, oh, uh, whatever. Yep, Chozo Ghosts, all right. You guys will remember that the Chozo Ghosts are only weak to one thing, that's the power beam. And of course, the power beam is so weak that you're not going to be doing much unless you use a super missile! Or it can just be phased right through it. That's cool! Oh yeah, those blasts uh, kind of electrify our suit to where we can't fire any weapons. Boom! Uh, do it. it. usually only takes one super uh, missile each. Oh, it's very difficult to see them as they phase in and out of reality. We will get a way to see them later, but that's kind of far off, but awesome. Boom! And there was one more chosen for us. Here it is. I don't know if that super missile is going to hit him in time. Yep, we got him. All right. That should be it. Which reveals a Chozo artifact, right where uh, Flagro was. And there we go. Alright, let's just hop back on there real quick. Easy enough to do with our high jump boots. Our space jump boots, I guess is the technical term. Whatever the... Alright, there we go. Chozo artifact. This is the artifact of Wild, the fourth of twelve. Alright, sweet. Now, I think there may be one more thing we can do in here in the water, perhaps, since we have the gravity suit. Yeah, it's kind of deep down here. Although I could, may just be tripping, and there's absolutely nothing down here whatsoever. I think this water was just to... Uh, I saw something more scanning, I thought. Nope, it doesn't look like it. This is just where Flagler was corrupting all the water, I guess. So, you know, kind of his... Or its main base of operations. All right, last thing that we want to do, we're going to get out of here, and we're going to go back to where we got the Morph Ball right here, the Ruined Shrine. We had that door at the very beginning of the game, and now that we got the second map room, we know there's stuff behind here, too, so I don't think we'd be, a be able to do anything back there until we had the Gravity Suit, so we're going to head back there now. And if you tried to access the Sun Chamber from this door, I think that door would have uh, been out of power. You would have been able to get there, so in order to get there, you do have to have the Spider Ball, and you do have to have the Super Missile, is my extension. I think they just want to make sure that you have the firepower necessary to take out the Jozo Ghosts. As you can imagine, without the... Hello. Okay, there we go. As you can imagine, without the super missiles there... Is that more Jozo Ghosts? What? In this area? Why? Is there not an artifact here, is there? I wasn't expecting this. Can I just leave? Yeah, well, we're not going to deal with these guys. Screw that. Uh, leaving, leaving. Better not deal with this. Yeah, everything got dark. I was like, uh, what? Okay, there we go. Huh. Well, like the logbook said, or our chosen lord said, those things only usually appear whenever there's an artifact, and I don't think there's an artifact in the Arboretum. I could be completely wrong on that, actually. Well, if it is, I don't really remember how to get it. Plus, I want to get this other artifact here for now. Okay. The room got all dark again. I was like, Chozo Ghost again! No! But okay, yeah. This is just the dark room to get with. Alright, so yeah, I, I want to do this before we end off the episode. I don't really want to waste any more time with Chozo Ghosts. Because those guys are nasty. I mean, they're not really nasty if you know their weakness to super missiles exactly, but if you're just trying to take them down with your power beam and snarl missiles, well, you're going to be in for a bad time, my friend. Okay, so all the way back here. Man, all the way back in the place where we got the Morph Ball. It has been a while. Who would have thought that we'd be coming all the way back? This would be going back, this would be like in Super Metroid, going all the way back to like, Abandoned Criteria, I think it was called, where you got the more Hall as well. Okay, I believe I can get up here. More Chozo Ghosts. Yeah, well, I expected these guys. Alright, well, we know we can't hit them right when they begin, so... Oh, crap. What are you doing? I wonder why the Chozo Ghosts are freaking out now, all of a sudden. Like, I get why maybe that artifact didn't appear when Flagra was right there, because you have corruption and all that really good stuff. Like, I don't know, the Chozo Ghosts are just choosing now to get pissy? Kind of weird, if you ask me. We got a expansion back here. Sweet. I guess I could have gotten that back when we got the Morph Ball Bomb, but I didn't think to do it. Okay, so how are we going to get up there? It uh, looks like we got a Boost Ball track right here. How did I forget about this Boost Ball track, too? It's kind of strange. Hey, right, well, it's a quite a wide, it's a very wide Boost Ball track as well, so... Alright, I think I can do that. I see another Morph Ball pipe right here. Is there anything on that side? Yeah, another Morph Ball pipe right there as well. Oh, this leads to a hidden... These both lead to hidden cubbies, you can see. 
Alright, well, let's see what's in each of these. Oh, another missile expansion. Alright. Not gonna be complaining at all. Let's see where the other one goes. Get back up here. Gonna roll it around at the speed of sound again. One more second, guys. Man, I am starting to think that now is not a good time to record, but... Like, again, I have so much free time when I'm sick. And I fall behind on videos so fast that... It's either I just sit around, do nothing, or I record some videos, so... You know, the channel can stay alive. <laughs> so, yeah, gonna try to tough through here. Alright, got some more Spireball tracks. Alright, this is where I wanted to get to. And I guess we'll go through here before we end the episode off, although the episode is getting a tad bit long in the teeth, but... Uh, I think it'll be fine. All the way through here, and this is the chamber I was looking for. What's it called? The Tower of Light! That seems like an appropriate name to me. Okay, so... I think, uh, in order to get to the artifact, we have to actually go underwater. We had to have the gravity suit to get down here. Alright, go up here, and I think this is gonna be our artifact. Or at least lead to a door that'll lead to our artifact. Foop. Go up here, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Yep, that's our artifact, alright. All right, another artifact down, and it is uh, the Artifact of Life Giver, the fifth of twelve. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, ow, we actually have five. Oh, it's going in order, I think, one through five. I thought they were kind of, like, set. But, okay, so five down, one more to get, and we'll be halfway there. So, all right, that is going to be all for today on Let's Play Metroid Prime, everyone. But uh, next time on uh, Metroid Prime, we are finally going to head out of the Chozo Ruins, go back to the Talon Overworld, and once again storm the Frigate Orpheon. So, I'll see you guys then.